gentlemen, welcome back to a late show. Let's say hello to John Baptiste. Hello, John. Hello. Hey, <laughs> I'm looking forward to our show on Tuesday night to just remind people we're not going to be here on CBS. We're going to be over on Showtime. Yes, yes. Come on now. Come with us. 11 o'clock. We're going to be live. We're going to have snacks. It's going to be great. And you, that same day, tell the people where you're going to be on Election Day. I'll be in Philly. Philly, in Election Day, playing for the voters and uplifting spirits. Let's go. Come on, manifest the rightness, baby. You, you, you get to exercise your franchise, and you get a free concert. John Baptiste, you know? friends. Thank you, John. Yes, indeed. You know, folks, with all the uncertainty in the world, this year has been incredibly stressful, but... In many ways, I feel it's brought me and you, my audience, closer together. That's why I'm finally ready to unveil my new segment. Stephen Colbert's Intimate Secrets. Welcome to Stephen Colbert's Intimate Secrets. Tonight, we explore the titillating world of body modification. I've recently learned that the nerve endings in the male nipple are not to be trifled with. I'm sorry, I'm... Am I getting a call? What's, who is it? John Stewart! Hey, Stephen Colbert! John, I'm, it's so I'm great to see you! I'm calling you on the phone, and but we're already and here. And we're also what? talking on the computer. It's the future, John. It's what? the future. They what's promised going on? this to us. We're doing the show. I always love seeing you, but what's, why, why, what to what do I owe this? Well, first of all, I get an alarm on my phone whenever you start to unbutton your shirt. But uh, uh, I wanted to call and say to you, happy anniversary, friend. Oh, thank you. I love you and I miss you and happy anniversary. I love and miss you too. What is the thank anniversary you. that we are celebrating, John? I'm not, uh... what's the- Steve, 10 years ago, 10, we had the rally. We had a big rally on the mall in Washington, D.C. It was oh, 10 years right, ago. Oh, right, I actually, I have the, actually have the yes. poster right here. Hold on one second. What? No, I, I got it right here. It says the, this, this thing, the, ral the rally to restore sanity yes. or, and or fear. I remember I that. 200,000 people showed up. We had so I, many had great performers. Keyboard. Jeff Tweedy, Mavis Staples, Ozzy yes. Osbourne, Sheryl Crow, Tony Bennett sang America the Beautiful. Wow. What a, what a day it was. Yeah. We really showed Glenn Beck. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. remember, your part was to restore the sanity, and yeah. I joined in for the march to keep fear alive? Yeah, you, uh, you won. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It was a shutout. I'm sorry about that. I was hoping you would win. I know, I was I had really, no I was, idea fear was that strong. Well, I was hoping you would win. Man, you and me both. But you know what? That, we could do a rematch. Uh, 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 I'll plan a, a new one. There's a new anniversary rally coming. Mavis and Tweedy and uh, Tony Bennett. We're all going to come back. We're going to have so much fun. It, we're going to celebrate. John. And, uh, John. It's going to be great. John. And, uh, yeah. There's no rally. No. John. No. John. Yeah. How are you? I'm not good, Steve. I'm not good. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I'm anxious. I'm lonely. I'm wishing it was 2010 again. I just, I can't. The election and the pandemic. How much canned soup and ammunition can one man have, Stephen? How never, much? Never enough, John. Do you remember I came on the show? It must have been 11 days after Trump's inauguration. Yeah. And it had already felt like he had always been president. I remember saying, uh, uh, the presidency is supposed to age the president and not the people. I do remember. I do remember that. Do you know how long ago that was? Um, 271 years, Stephen. It was 200. We'll check, we'll check that out. And they, don't do the math. No, they the say it right. They say gonna, that checks out. They say that in fact, my fact check here says that's true. Well, John... We, we've got the, uh, you can feel better because we've got the election just four days from now. I just want to know what is going to happen. I want to know how much longer we have to uh, keep going through this, where we are in this, in this marathon, you know, is it on election day? Are we at the, the heartbreak hill? Do you know what I mean? That, 
that all that effort and all that resilience is about to pay off. We're going to cross the finish line and finally be able to exhale. Or is this the, you know, halfway point, the 13 mile mark and, uh, and, and when my nipples will stop bleeding. These are, these are questions I need to know, Steve. Well, as for where we are, um, what that depends. What's your finish line? The finish line for me is, is this man not being president anymore and a thousand people not dying every day from a disease we don't understand still. Oh, so the finish line is your finish line. Yes. Okay. The well, finish line I don't, is I, I the don't, finish line. I understand. I, understand. I, get, I, get, I get it now. I, I, don't, I don't know for certain, but I know that we'll know on Tuesday. Will we, Stephen? I don't we? know. I don't even know if we'll know. We don't even know if we'll know on Tuesday. And for God's sakes, if if, if an asteroid doesn't hit us on Monday, because it's been that kind of year. There is, there is. By the way, you can't say on CBS. I know you got the new deal with Apple TV Plus, and you can say anything you want over there. But this is this that is just a family. Goes on the people's this iPods. Is, okay. My show's only going on to the iPod. The, the original show, iPod with control. the scroll wheel. The little scroll wheel. There's actually right. an asteroid coming on Monday. Uh, that's, that's actually, not that's not made up. There's an, actually an asteroid buzzing by the planet on Are Monday. You? I'm going to talk to my guest, Neil deGrasse Tyson, about it. Is that really true? Did that you know that? That is I actually true. That's actually true. I was metaphoring. I was being metaphorical. John, it's 2020. All metaphors are real now. Oh, did you ever imagine in your wildest dreams that this would be life? I did, I did, and I read a lot of science fiction. I let her, I, 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 yeah, a lot of dystopian future, and, 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 and I just never knew how, how stupid our leaders would be. I thought they would be purely evil. Not you just, know how jacked I, up on Soma I am right now? I am jacked, I am jacked up on Soma. I got, I got Huxley porn right into the veins right here. But this sure. is why, and this is what the people don't know about Stephen Colbert. This is where I look to you, because your frame of reference, you go from, biblical Edens to dystopian uh, futures, and, and you have the whole breadth of that continuum at your photographic memory and mindset. So I ask you now, Stephen, is it going to be okay? Of and course. can you give John, me something John, from, that, yes. from that Rolodex? Yes. It's, it's going what do you to... got? Lord of the Rings. Give me Lord of the Rings. I always have Lord of the Rings. What, what do that. you want? What do you want from Lord of the Rings? You want something hopeful from Lord of the Rings? Yes, give okay. me something. Here we go. All right, that, that I got bears it. out resilience. Give me a second here. Journey. Give me a second. I'm going through the old Tolkien occipital Go Rolodex through. here. So dark times, but hopeful. Come on. Got it. Come okay. On, baby. Uh, this Papa is from Return of glimmer. the King. Return of the King. Frodo and Sam have gotten into Mordor, over the mountains of shadow. They're on the plain of Gorgoroth, which is the barren plain right next to the Mount Doom. I know what the plain of Gorgoroth is, Stephen. Don't. I'm from New Jersey. You think I don't know barren plains? While they're, they're on the plain of Gorgoroth, okay, Frodo's passed out from the stress of the ring, okay? okay he can't okay. go on any further. He can barely drag himself forward. And Sam Man, is looking over that. him. Sam's looking yeah. over him. And he's, and he's yeah, there yeah. at night, and, and, and they're hiding like in a little crater on the plain. And Sam looks up at the sky. And Tolkien writes there, peeping. Among the cloud rack above the dark tor, high up in the mountain, Sam saw a white star twinkle for a while. The beauty of it smote his heart, and he looked up out of the forsaken land, and hope returned to him. For like a shaft, clear and cold, the thought pierced him that in the end the shadow was only a small and passing thing. There was light and high beauty forever beyond its reach. Oh, my God. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna cry. I was like, "You're my Dolly Parton. I'm gonna. You're gonna make me cry with that." What is the what is the ring in that metaphor? Because that's still a your metaphor, anxiety. Right? Your anxiety. Because I was pretty sure my irritable bowel syndrome is the ring. No, that's the volcano. <laughs> anyway, John, this has been great. Uh, I got Neil Tyson in the wings. I got to be going. Right, Thank you, though. Right. Uh, hey, happy happy anniversary, man. Happy, happy anniversary. anniversary to you. Oh, man. I would do it again and, uh, in a minute. And the I minute you, it's pal. safe to hold rallies again. I love you.
I don't think I'll ever do it again, but I really enjoy that sentiment. Yeah, me either. I was just trying to be nice. <laughs> Hello, I fellas. Tony, Tony Bennett! What? Oh, beautiful. For no, space Tony, we're not, sky. We're not doing Tony. it, Tony. We're not, do we're not doing the 10-year anniversary. 10 years? Really? Yeah. No wonder you look so old. John Stewart Bennett. and Tony Bennett, everybody. We'll be right back with Neil deGrasse Tyson to talk about that asteroid.